everyone. Um, so today I'm going to do a tag video. This is the makeup style tag. I was tagged by Lisa I. Um, I'll link her channel down below. But anyway, um, I'm just going to get right into this tag. So what kind of eye primer do you use and why? So I think she meant like, um, like a cream, like a pot liner, like the MAC paint pots. Um, something like the NYX Jumbo Sticks or like a regular cream primer like the Milani one that I use and I use like the Milani one that I use. So um, yeah, I just, um, that's what always has been working for, that's what always works for me consistently. Um, cream shadows are good too. Um, if I have a cream shadow that I like, I'll use that for a while. But for the most part, I think I prefer the... Um, the regular like eye primer like that just because it um it goes with anything like if I'm doing an all matte look it won't show up shimmery underneath that and it's just it's kind of consistent so I just I like that a lot and um yeah I don't I don't like when the cream shadows like dry out and like I, I don't always like like sticking my finger in it and stuff so there's that too um I guess I put my finger on my eye anyway when I put the primer on, so it doesn't really matter, but, um, you know, it just, it makes me feel better that I'm not sticking it in the pot all the time, I guess, so. Whatever works. Um, I feel like this is just getting really gross because that's just what happens. Um, what color eyeshadow makes you feel bold and pretty at the same time? Um, what makes me feel bold? I don't know. Like, if I do, like, a nice smoky look, like, when I did, um, when I used the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette, that chrome shade in there made me feel, like, really bold, and, like, I really love those shades, like, in the Huda palettes, where they're, like, like, the Cosmo shade in the Desert Dusk palette, um, those just make me feel, like, bold, because, like, they're not the easiest shadows to use, so, like, I feel like I've, like, accomplished something by having, like, a good look with those shadows, and um, they just, they look really nice on the lids too. So I feel like it does look really pretty and it's bold and it's different than everything else that I use. So I just, I like those a lot. What color do you least like for your eyes and why? What color do you least like to wear and why? Um, I, I wouldn't wear like a bright blue, I don't think, on my lid. I, I wear it sometimes like in the outer corner if I just want like a little pop of color, but I don't think I've ever worn just like like blue, like a dark blue or something on the lid. Um, I, did, I, I, I would feel like me from the Drew Carey show, so that's not always the look that I'm going for, but uh, yeah. Cover Girl or Maybelline Mascara? Come on, you know you're one over the other. Um, I love that, the way that she phrased that, because, like, it does seem like everyone's one or the other. Personally, I'm more of a L'Oreal girl myself, but, um, if I had to choose between CoverGirl or Maybelline, I think I've had more luck with Maybelline mascaras. Um, I've tried more Maybelline mascaras, too, and that's how I, like, started out with mascaras. Um, I think Ingrid Nielsen, like, back, like, way back in the day, um, she used to, like, the... Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara. Maybe I'll get that sometime soon and like, you know, kind of do like a throwback baby on that. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I, I would say Maybelline over CoverGirl. If you could have perfect, if you could have your bat, I don't know. I can't talk guys. Uh, this is like the, I filmed a lot of videos already and I'm still not feeling great. Um, if you could have your brows permanently done for the rest of your life or never wear blush, what would you do? So I kind of just like the way that my brows look right now. So I don't usually fill in my brows or anything um, just because I'm happy with how they look. So I guess I kind of already have my perfect life. Um, so yeah, um, let's just do a hair flip there because um, uh, that seems like a hair flip type answer. I don't know. Um... But yeah, that's, I, I like my brows already, so I'm good with that. And I like wearing blush, so yeah. Do, do you or your best friend wear more makeup? Um, I think I wear makeup like every day, and I don't think my friends wear makeup every day. So yeah, we all like makeup, and we'll all talk about makeup like often. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's more my thing, I think. Are you a fan of cream cream products um not really actually now that you think about it I feel like 
I, maybe that's just like a thing with like YouTubers just always being like, oh, you know, I don't really like cream products that much, even though they like always use cream products. But I think like maybe that like gave me like a bias against cream products that like I didn't realize I had. And yeah, that seems to be what happened because I used to really like cream products. But then I feel like I got that bias against them. So yeah, I, I again, it annoys me when they dry out though. And yeah, so maybe that's why I don't like them either. But I think I might just be biased because I feel like YouTube is like creating a conspiracy against cream products because no YouTuber seems to like them very much. So I'm going to go with that. I think it's all a conspiracy. Um, who taught you to do makeup? Um, so I kind of just, I kind of did it on my own. But like when I was in college was when I really started to get into it because like um, my roommate did her makeup and it was just it was just kind of something to do in the morning um, before class. And since my roommate was already doing it, I felt like I might as well. So that's just kind of what got me into it. Um, but yeah, um, I also like I used to always watch YouTube beauty videos like um, Michelle Thon was like the first big one I remember watching. And, like, she did, like, some crazy looks, too. Like, her Tim Burton makeup tutorial. And, like, she did all these looks. And she had, like, a Lady Gaga one. And, you know, like, I love Lady Gaga. And um, that was just really great. And, yeah. So, I, I guess it was, like, a combination of them. I don't know. It just, like, it seemed like a good time. And, like, I, I liked um, Ingrid Nielsen's videos a lot. And, like... Everybody always mentions the Revlon lip butters. I feel like, like, YouTube just, like, made those products happen. And, like, I have no idea why they're not around still. Because, like, I feel like YouTubers, like, love them. They're like, oh my god, Revlon lip butters. They're just, like, a tiny tinted gloss. Like, not a gloss, but, like, a balm. And, like, it's just so funny that, like, that was a huge craze. Because everybody on YouTube was trying to get them. And it was just, I don't know, it's so funny. Um, are you a project panner? No. Um, I don't know. I like watching project pan videos, but I'm like, no, um, immediately. Just because I feel like I have a short attention span with that. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's not, it's not something that I usually focus on. But I do like watching it in, like, other channels. Um, like, I know Lisa, she does project pans. And Canoe does them, and a lot of people do Project Pan videos, and those are always really, like, fun and entertaining to watch, so I like them a lot. I'm just, that's not my thing, but good for them if you finish up a product, that's awesome. The very last question on this tag is setting spray. Do you believe in it? What's your holy grail? Um, yeah, I do believe in it. Um, <laughs> I should have used it today, actually, probably. But I think my two favorites right now, I keep kind of going back and forth, but I think I like them for different reasons. The Milani Make It Last setting spray and the ColourPop Amber Crystal setting spray. So I think that the ColourPop Amber Crystal setting spray, like you notice like a difference right away when it's on your skin. It just kind of does something. It gives a nice like little glow and it just, it works really well for that. But the Maybelline Make It Last, like, that actually helps it last and um, it helps your makeup last. And, like, I've gone out where it's been, like, hot and sweaty and I didn't have a hair tie. So I was immediately more hot and sweaty. And, um, you know, the, the Maybelline or the Milani Make It Last setting spray, I think, definitely helped my makeup stay on longer. And I just, I really like it for that. I think it does really make it last, um, like the name says. Um, oh, the Smashbox uh, Primer Spray. I like that a lot, too. Um, yeah, I haven't used that in forever, but that's such a good, like, priming spray. I like, I like using setting sprays before, like, makeup and after. Um, if I had, like, another primer on, I would still, sometimes I'll do, like, a setting spray before that primer and then, like, after I've finished everything, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, I like that primer a lot, too. Um, I haven't bought it in a while, but I like it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's my tag. Um, I tag some people to do this. I'll mention them at the end of the video, but, like, Sherry Ward, Terry Lee, uh, Canoe, I think Lisa already tagged you. Um, I'm probably forgetting people, but, uh, yeah. 
you're tagged. So um, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys later. Bye.